The official question is, please state your name and the year you graduated from the Mechanics Institute. What? Must have been 39, is it? Yep, 39. Yeah, 1939. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's Helena? Helene. Just Helene Lois. Just Amdursky. Amdursky, now Dynaberg. Now Dynaberg. <clears throat> Very much now Dynaberg. <laughs> was his fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you were talking about your, um, I guess these were monthly scholarship ratings, I guess you yes, said? Yes, because I, I didn't, I wasn't there to take my final exam because of the death of my brother. Your brother. At that time. Oh my goodness. And, uh, so Mrs. Holt was very thoughtful about everything that concerned me. Mm -hmm. That's Georgina Holt. Yeah. yeah. What was your major? Food administration. Ah. Uh, the cooperative course. I worked at the Highland Hospital for two years and I worked in um, uh, Lockport out that way to an institution out there, medical uh, with her uh, TB patients at that point. Uh -huh. uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of TB in the 30s, right? Yes, yes. We had a big uh, uh, building here in Rochester that took care of them, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name. I don't know why the name Walt comes to mind, but mm -hmm. I think that was the name of the building or the hospital. As you know, the Walt name is in yeah, Rochester. This, no, it's a big it's name. Of, yeah. It's still all here. over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't have to be, I, I don't want this out about the wokes. I can tell you something about them, but you've got to turn that off. I will do that. Wait, yep. Okay. Now we're back to uh, where we were. So you started in 1906, and we were going to ask you, where are you from originally? Did you grow up in Rochester? My parents were born in Rochester. Really? Mm -hmm. So you grew up here, mm -hmm. and your in your father, you were just mentioning that he was the chief engineer at Taylor Instrument Company. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then he was an inventor. Yes. Interesting. He's on the, you know, what do they give out? What do they invent something? A patent. He has a patent. Uh, he, yes, he has. Yeah. But multiple patents. Yeah. I think you said. Did he go to Mechanics Institute? Where did he go to school? Syracuse. Oh, Syracuse. You said that, right? So when it came time for you to go to, to college, your family encouraged you to go to Mechanics Institute? Or how did that come about? It came about because my father had been sick for many years, and he was very fussy about food. And he figured that that would be a good place for me to go and learn how to be. So I had no objection. I had nothing. I liked to cook and bake and that kind of stuff, but I had no particular talent. <laughs> and uh, that's why. And it was in, in Rochester was another thing. My mother was a, uh, a new widow with a lost son, so I wanted to stay home. <coughs> so did she, you lived at home then during the time that you went to Mechanics Institute? I well, they were. I had her at the hospital. Oh. I, I had a room that had a, a bathroom mm -hmm. that they gave me because a lot of times I had to be at work at six in the morning, mm -hmm. and I'm one of those kind of people. If I had to be at six, I get up at four thirty or five to take my shower, to have my breakfast, and have my cigarette back in those days. Mm -hmm. You had to have your cigarette, uh -huh. and then I would go to work. So it was very convenient. I could be home to sleep or I could be there to sleep, uh -huh. whatever I chose. Mm -hmm. Now, did you spend a lot of time, or, well, in addition to the co-op part, so you were working at the hospital, did you also have classes on the RIT campus downtown? The Mechanics Institute. But, I mean, I'm sorry, Mechanics Institute? Not when I was at the hospital, uh -huh. no, no, not when I was working at the hospitals, no. So it was back When I went court. to classes, I just went to classes. You said earlier it was like one month on... That's right. One month off. <coughs> Interesting way to be. And of course, there was someone who was a co worker who took the same spots I did the alternate times that I was off. Ah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, do you have any uh, memories of particular uh, teachers that you liked a lot or that you thought were really good? <coughs> I thought they were all really good. 
And if you read by resume, you can tell by reading, reading it, uh, that they were all very good. Mm -hmm. They really were. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm turning 90 in February. Is that right? And I found at this age, the mind doesn't grasp onto. I can think of things. I can think of songs and people and places that I, that started from the day I was born. But don't ask me what her name was that I just met yesterday. Well, I can't remember either. So, <laughs> so you have nothing good Starts to look early. forward to. <laughs> well, mine didn't start early. <laughs> Between besides my family, my husband's family, and all the organizations I belong to, my sons greatest threat was, Mother, I'll tear up your calendar. Oh! Because oh. I had so many meetings to go to. I was in so many boards and so many organizations. I had a 25-year uh, kid from the Bob Bank from the Red Claw. I was a Girl Scout leader. That's just mm -hmm. a couple of the things besides the organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very involved mm -hmm. in the city of Rochester, which I've always loved. I think this has been a mark. Are you native Rochesterian? Upstate New York. I was born in Schenectady. Oh, and you I'm from Casanova, New York, near oh. Syracuse, but my mother's an RIT a mechanic. Well, actually, it turned yeah. into RIT when it's she was there, and she was in the food administration. And my, my family have been very involved in good. My grandmother founded the Jewish orphanage here. She was oh, okay. in it then, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, Well, when you were growing up, what part of the city did your family live in? I lived on the west side, on Aberdeen Street. Oh, Because my, really? my father worked at the Taylor Instrument Company. Right. And then I went to number 16 school mm -hmm. in Madison, the West High School. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. It's still a beautiful area yes. over mm -hmm. there. Yes. Those houses the 19th are... The 19th Ward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, just especially in that section, Aberdeen. Aberdeen and yes. And some I, of the largest... Uh, Post Avenue, where the school was, was I think house, <coughs> six houses down from where I lived. So I'd roll out mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> just be there. So you went to Mechanics Institute and you did your training while you went to school. Mm -hmm. Now, did you, after you graduated, did you um, continue right on to work at one of those places? I helped them out that summer when they were going on vacation. Mm -hmm. And that was all. My husband wasn't interested in my going off to work. Now, when did you get married? Uh, let's see, July 2nd, 1939, I think it was. So right after school? Oh, right, right. Yeah, after school. oh, yes. Uh -huh. Now, was your husband a Mechanics Institute graduate? No. Where did you meet him? He was a, a, the manager for the Dollar Dry Cleaning Company. And after uh, my brother, before he took sick, went to work for them. The owner of the place were friends of my mother's, so they put him in there. Mm -hmm. And he used to come out to tell me that my brother was coming out in a few minutes. And he decided that he wanted to make it a more intimate <laughs> association. <laughs> and he succeeded beautifully. <laughs> so pretty soon it wasn't my brother, your brother's coming out, but it was like, how'd you like to go out with me? <laughs> he did, he did. <laughs> now, and what was his name? Sal Dynaberg. Sal Dynaberg. Mm -hmm. okay. So now, when you go into the bedroom later, you'll see pictures of him. Too. Mm -hmm. So you uh, so you graduated and you got married and um, you. Uh, but did you were you able to incorporate your training into organizations or things that you did? Um? Uh, it came in very handy because I had a big family mm -hmm. and uh, and I enjoyed cooking and baking and mm -hmm. uh, I. Uh, I wasn't afraid of any kind of a recipe, and everybody adored it. I used to have anywhere between 20 and 30 people at the big mm -hmm. occasions that we would have. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I enjoyed it. <coughs> so what was the focus of the program? Was it for cooking in hospitals? Or? Yes, yes, yes. Hosp it was hospital. Mainly hospital. Mainly hospital. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's man. why I, you know, I was at the Highland Hospital. Right. And I did, and I did. I cooked and I baked there and mm -hmm. enjoyed the doing. And what kind of courses did they? What was the coursework specifically? It was, I mean, obviously there was cooking. Ah, yes, the, there, the values of vitamins. And right. So all nutrition. That. Yeah, nutrition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you have to take chemistry? Seems I like did. I, I yes, think, I, seems like I've seen yes, pictures in the collection. Yeah, I was going to say we have pictures. I know of like um, people in the. Chemistry lab. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I had to take chemistry, which was really not my forte. I think what was it? <coughs> uh, 
I'm trying to think what school, maybe it was in the high school when I was supposed to graduate and the, the cutoff mark was 65 and I got a 65 in chemistry. <laughs> Often the case. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't care for it either. So, were there mostly women in this uh, program? All women. All women. All women. Mm -hmm. There were men and boys in the school right. with the other programs, but no, all women. <coughs> Sorry. And um, some were local. A lot of them came from the small, <coughs> small towns yep. around. Yeah. How mm -hmm. many do you think were in your class? Oh, I'd say maybe 30 or under. Yeah. And I must comment because I never got over it, knowing that I when I I, I had my engagement ring at that point in time, and and they knew about my brother dying. Then. And before school ended, the girls in my class gave me a shower, and I was overwhelmed because we weren't because of the fact I lived in Rochester, I didn't have to co you know get socially involved with anybody else, but the fact that they did that really overwhelming because yeah. none of them were my personal friends right. at all very sweet but they did they gave me a shower and i never got up there that. that's very I nice i yes. was going to ask you about what what students did for fun but of course if you were one month on campus and then one month it probably was hard to get involved yes in activities. that's true yes mm -hmm. so uh um, but there are all lovely people yeah the teachers Students, they all nice people. Now, when you were at the hospital, were some other students there also? Uh, once in a while, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you said you were at Genesee Hospital, Highland, Highland, mm -hmm. because it was, it was a lovely hospital. To yeah, be, yes. Because mm -hmm. there was Highland, there was Genesee, and then there was one on Park Avenue still at that point. Yes, <coughs> you're right. Yes. <coughs> really going back. <laughs> well, I live near it. <laughs> Did you like some water? Did you need some water? Yeah, I'm getting over a cold in it. Oh, can I get by here? Okay. Um, we we asked another lady that we had we talked to last week about the depression and if that had, you know, if that colored your time there in any way or. No, because of my father, as I said, he was chief engineer. Right. Uh, and uh, even though he had passed away, my mother was always very comfortable. And uh, in those days, he was one of the few people that uh, believed in life insurance at that time. Hmm. I remember giving uh, my mother sending food over to the people next door. They had three kids. He had been, the father had been the president of some very influential company. And they had just joined a, a golf club. Uh, because all that was all new golf back mm -hmm. in those days it was brand new now like it not like it is today and i remember my mother had, had feeling she had to send food over to them that's how yeah. desperate it became at that point in time your, your father had already died by the time you were in college yes oh dear he died young mm -hmm. yeah. he was 40. wow yeah wow. And my brother my brother was 16 i think when he died oh my gosh and he too, when he was in the hospital, his friends, they lined up around the hall, lining up to see him. Mm -hmm. very, he founded a high school fraternity. Oh, yeah. yeah. What did he die of? Oh, I don't know. We thought it was cancer. They called it ulcerated colitis is what they called it. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they were, I don't. Not sure they knew about cancer. I'm talking about a long time I was ago. I say back know. in those days. Right. Yes. Yeah. And infections too. That I know. Before I know. antibiotics. Yeah. And colitis can be treated now too. I mean, it's still a terrible. If it actually was colitis, I'm know, not it's a terrible disease, but it's yes. But I'm not, I always felt they just tacked that name on because they didn't know they what didn't else know to what do with it. Didn't know what it was. Them. Yeah. And uh, terrible time with eating and that kind of thing. Yeah. He, he too had founded a couple of fraternities at the high school and at the temples here too. Most of my family were do-gooders mm -hmm. to the community, <laughs> including my own children. Mm -hmm. So that just left you and your mother at that time? No, I had, an, I had a sister. Yes. Oh, I got long as I'm bragging about everything else. This is, <laughs> well, the, this this is but, but the kind of work that my son has been doing. These are 
um, against children playing with matches. Uh -huh. This is one of the things, Just this is just uh -huh. a sample I, that I happen to have. Mm -hmm. And this is another one of the things that my son does. Mm -hmm. So how many children did you have? I had three. Mm -hmm. And are they, they, they a boys and girls, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, tell us what you have, how many sons and daughters? I have one son and two daughters. One son and two daughters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they all live in Rochester. Ah, uh, at the moment, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was it? Oh. How did he get into this kind of uh, work? That's what he decided to do. He um, he founded the kidney found my son founded the kidney foundation here in mm -hmm. Rochester. What's his name? Jack Dynaberg. Jack Dynaberg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's his name. And um, is he your oldest child? Was he your first? He was my youngest. He was your, okay. When I was pregnant with him, the uh, my doctors turned to the nurse and said, you take that baby out because if it's another girl, I'm leaving town. <laughs> now, this is another part of my family. Um, Ralph Andersky is my uncle. Right. <laughs> and they founded this institution. Which is... You know where all the health places are. I'm not too familiar with them myself. But so this, I just, I, just went, I went to a dedication um, for a, a bench like at this mm -hmm. building mm -hmm. uh, where he did that. So he was he worked with Cerebral Palsy Association. Uh, so they worked with them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He didn't work for them. He graduated from Mechanics Institute. Oh, he did too. He your was uncle, he was uncle. a fight photographer. Uh huh. Did you ever see the uh, film of airplanes flying in the sky uh, in, uh, in in contact? It, it was a like, big a big with airplanes and formation. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Remember seeing that? Yeah. Sure. Well, he got into a plane, and I have a film of that. He got into a plane with the door open oh, in the plane mm -hmm. and took pictures of these formations. Wow. Right now, he's just he's a, a bit older than I am. He just got over heart repair work. Wow, good His daughter you. just called me yesterday to say mm -hmm. that he had gone back to his home mm -hmm. and his son was with him. Does but he every, all, of my, he, he lives all of my family did something special. They weren't just run-of-the-mill kind of people. Mm -hmm. They did, great. That it did something good for other people, all of them. I understand that. Mm -hmm. So when did your uncle graduate? Oh, he's... I'm trying to so, think. If you're 39... If I'm going to be, I think he's 98, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. So he's probably eight years before you, so mm -hmm. maybe 27? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I there was a photography program then. Yes, 100 years. I know, but I mean, it really wasn't. It was the first one. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew they had courses. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. Yes. So did he uh, did he make that his career, photography, or did he work yes, for? Yes, he worked for one of the newspapers, I think, was the Democrat and Chronicle. No, yes. Yes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. well, now, tell us his name again. Ralph Amdursky. Amdursky. It's on her. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. A M D U R S K Y. Ralph Amdursky. Okay. <clears throat> but as I said, and, and, and of course my son is a surprise to me. I didn't know that he had all of this kind of caring and wanting. Mm -hmm. The Kidney Foundation was a big thing for him. That's but huge. he had a, he had a uh, a friend, mm -hmm. a boyfriend, mm -hmm. who died. Uh, and there was, they didn't have anything for kidney foundations right. in those days. Mm -hmm. And I, feel, I don't know if you remember the things they did, the, uh, the touching cars. The cars, yes, oh, yes. You remember that? Yes. I, I think they have, still I, do I, that. I, 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 used to, to I used to work on that with, with his daughter, who mm -hmm. was born at that time. And there were a couple of other things that he did that the I would help him with. I, mm -hmm. uh, you know, my sister, when it was open, uh, they had a, uh, a director, a uh, medical medical director there, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister used to do the coordinating of uh, of volunteers mm -hmm. there. So uh, they did these things as 
as volunteer activities? Your son got involved in this as a... He, no, he founded it. He, he got it. the doctors on the board. He got the equipment. Mm -hmm. He has a whole uh, cupboard full of so acclamations. This became, this became his full-time yeah. work then. Oh, no. He oh, was so working for his father to, okay. oh, on the oh. sidelines. All right, so he was doing this totally <laughs> as, as a volunteer activity. <laughs> It was a bone of contention a lot of times what he did with the Kennedy Foundation. Mm -hmm. Which, because it conflicted oh, with his yes. work. <laughs> Especially when we went to Florida in the wintertime. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you're, you're away and who's running the business and he's working on the Kennedy Foundation. Well, he did a wonderful thing. That's a, yeah. that's oh, a yes. tremendous yes. organization. He was just recently, he, he and another gentleman uh, were awarded special awards from New York State for some of the work that they have been doing. Mm -hmm. other people. Now he's your youngest child. Tell us about your two daughters. Uh, what a, what about the? Well, they were. They were did they uh, did they go on into careers? Uh, uh, no, my my, uh, my younger daughter was valedictorian of her school, mm -hmm. and my older daughter uh, always she, they lived, uh, moved to California, mm -hmm. so. But uh, they uh, they still work for organizations that they help voluntarily. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. But that came right down from our grandparents. I guess so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're still busy working? No, not, not really. Not so much. No. 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 For one thing, unfortunately, when you do get to this age, you run out of energy. <laughs> I hear you. Well, you're entitled, but it seems like you're doing tr great. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the the physical. Uh, I still go swimming two or three times a week, and I walk all the time. And That's we have great. all kind of equipment. If you have the time and you want to uh, uh, trip through this place, I'd love to show it to you. And you do yoga. <coughs> Did you mention that you have a, you take a yoga class? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can do that right here. Uh, or do you have to go somewhere for that? No, it's that all in this building. Wow, that's this building. building. Uh, mm -hmm. where, where is my... I was going to show you my... Uh, you got something over there next to you. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Oh, your calendar. Yes. Your famous calendar. Yeah, my calendar. <laughs> not, not that so much. Oh, this is... No, the, this is the summit where I live and the things that we do. This is the people <coughs> that need help in their apartment. Mm -hmm. They get all their meals. See, I have a full kitchen. Mm -hmm. They don't. I see. And mm -hmm. this is the, these are some of the things that they do. Take a rough look over oh. the, our activities There's that we're, we're entitled to attend if we so desire. Right. Oh, <coughs> now, is there a place that you can eat with the group if you there, decide I'll, I'll to? I'll show you the main <coughs> dining room, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. we, get a, we make our own tables for people to be with. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is it mostly women here, or are there a good number? There are, there are men. As you can see, I, I have this. Now, you said you've lived here for three years? It will be three years next month. And where did you live before that? You lived here in Rochester? Uh, yes. Or did you live in the same place for many years? I lived in an apartment on Highland Avenue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when did your husband pass away? Oh, one time. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you can see, I keep busy. <laughs> that's, you know, that's now, the way see. to do it. Today's Wednesday, so you have, there's an art show at the JCC. Mm -hmm. I mean, these do you go to the JCC to the pool there? No, I go. They have a here. pool here? Because yes. I'm a member of the JCC. We have a gorgeous pool. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. Nice. And there's music tonight. Yeah. By Julie Ketchum. A lot of these names I'm not familiar. We yeah. sign up for our activities. We mm -hmm. have a list. Mm -hmm. And we are driven to all of our appointments. Oh, really? You don't have to drive? Uh, they took my car away. My oh. kids didn't bring it along when I, they moved me in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you don't need it now, right? That's no. the good thing. Mm -hmm. they and you can't imagine the care that these people that take care of us do. It's a nice place, there's a, yeah. there's a lady at the desk who makes all of our appointments for wherever we're going. She is just 
I can't describe her. She's so wonderful. Mm. And the drivers who have to take the walkers mm -hmm. and get the people onto the buses and park the walkers. Mm -hmm. They have to pick you up. We go to Wegmans. We come out with a whole crate full of groceries. Mm -hmm. so first they get you packed, parked, then they pack it up. And before you turn around, after they let you off, there they are with your groceries. You know, oh, it's, it's nice. I can't say enough good things about it. That's nice. It's yeah. nice to be able to. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about getting places. And no. No. That's Socially, uh, I think, I know they do. Uh, in fact, when I was here and one of my friends, when one of my friends lived here when I was still in my apartment, she used to come to play cards. And they would bring her to my apartment and pick her up when she was ready to go back. Just like that. Nice. So, unbelievable what they do. It's not only what they do, it's the way that they do it. Right. It's so wonderful. They're respectful and they're oh. friendly. and uh, Yeah, you hear horror stories, so it's no. nice to know that it's a good place. Now, you have your own kitchen, so you're cooking your meals. Yes. But if you went to the dining room, how's the food? Not to be beat. Really? That's great. Oh, really? Wonderful. It's decent. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And you can appreciate with your background yes. that it's no yes. <laughs> I know, really. <laughs> that it's no easy Putting a discerning well, eye on the uh, institutional well, food. I uh, I never make any comments. Because that, that's not, that's polite. not I, I, I didn't have to be in charge of it. I was just a student, you understand. <laughs> I was a student. My mother-in-law was... You know, and she's in her 90s, but she, um, when she was, uh, before she got married, like you, she worked for a while as an x-ray technician. Uh -huh. But I'll tell you what, every time she has to go, you know, she broke her wrist or something, she's very interested in all of what they're doing and, you know, has a lot of comments on it and what, what that technology has become. So. I, it was interesting last night, and this it just it shows you the kind of people we have. Something must have happened. We have, a, I'll show you the dining room, uh, but uh, evidently because of the weather, a lot of people didn't show up. And all the heads of all the different departments were serving the dinners, oh. clearing the tables, pouring mm -hmm. the coffee. They were all there working. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how that, I, I have no idea how that happened. But it did. I think probably people just couldn't get here, so they just stayed on and but took care of you. That's great. Ever. Yeah, very nice. Rather than saying, yeah. "I've got to get out of here too," because mm -hmm. you know, I have a, I have my own washing machine mm -hmm. and dryer here. Mm -hmm. Yes, spoiled rotten. Thing. <laughs> That's what we are. <laughs> Sounds like the best of both worlds, though. You can take care of yourself. My son that loves to scream. He can't wait to get here. Oh. When he found out that they uh, cleaned the snow off of the cars oh. when it snowed, and then there's a button on my telephone if I should be away for a night or two, or what I do once in a while, I go and stay at my daughter's house. The, the button I just push it says, Welcome home. A boy says, Welcome uh -huh. home. And, but he can't get over these little <laughs> nice that she said come with the, the territory. <laughs> he's ready to move in. <laughs> That's funny. Well, he started to call my daughter when he was 12 years old, so they're going to move in together, not separately, she uh, said. Very good. <laughs> wow. So you've known him for a long time then. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I love him a whole bunch. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I do, I do. Both my in-laws. I, I would tell you, and I shouldn't tell you all these personal stories. I would, well, we can. I had I had fallen, and um, I was at. Uh, <coughs> we got it. Yep. I mean, what was it like for a woman at RIT? I mean, I have to believe that a lot of women weren't going to college at that point, and I mean, were they a special group of women? Like, uh, a lot of the yes, some of them came from farm, small farm countries around. Yes, yes, yeah. I I went because uh, it had what I wanted, and I could still stay in Rochester. My, right. mother, my mother didn't want me to go away. Right. Mm -hmm. She just lost her husband, and she did. She needed me. Now, what about your friends from high school? Did many of them go on to college somewhere, or was that were you oh, fairly unusual? Most of them didn't in those days. That's what I mean. No. Most of them didn't. They, they, my, no, my, my 
my daughter's dead, you know, mm -hmm. but that's another generation right, we're right. talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, did your mother go to college herself? No. So, no. So, but she wanted you to get, she wanted you to get Well, some. she just knew, I mean, because of my father, it was just an accepted thing that when I got through with high school, I could go on. That you would go on. Mm -hmm. I mean, were, did women, I mean, women went to RIT, went to the Mechanics Institute, but did, do you think most of them went on to work their whole lives, or did they do what you did and just I can't marry? Marry and because most yeah. of them didn't come from Rochester. Most right, of them came were from, from elsewhere. small towns, mm -hmm. and they weren't. Well, now at our 50th reunion. Uh, we were all so happy to see each other, you know, and I was in charge of the foods uh, <laughs> for the reunion, oh, nice. naturally, and uh, it, oh. it, it was a fun time. I wish I could have found those pictures because my whole play, I just was there. It's under my bed and it's too much trouble to yeah, pull yeah, it out. Okay. Well, when did you, uh, not when, but um, your 50th reunion, uh, where did they have that uh, event? I, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think there was some RIT, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that yes, would make I, sense. I think mm -hmm. it was. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. You got to go to that. And they had a lot of different reunions and for different mm -hmm. things there. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. they do that every year. Mm -hmm. I remember once they had a a beautiful, wonderful orchestra for dancing and a party. Yeah, and I think it was at RIT when after it had opened for mm -hmm. all the. After yeah. the after the new yeah. campus opened, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you have been out to the new campus. Oh yes, I have been there. Yes, they have they. Anything that comes out of RIT comes into my apartment. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, any, believe anything, me. Any, and I can't believe what goes on. I was going to ask you that if you've been amazed at how that much is grown. Is unbelievable. The honors from all over the world that they get because of the work they do. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I, I told you I worked for the uh, Red Cross, I would come here for, uh, for the uh, hearing affected people to give blood. Sure. Uh -huh. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, that in itself was something to get. Right. For the most time, they had to write down what, what they do. What right. I, I had to write what I wanted them to do. Mm -hmm. But what a job they do. Yeah. Right. Unbelievable. Right, the, the whole uh, aspect of the National Technical Institute for the Deaf oh, is just phenomenal. It's worldwide. Yeah, yeah. Truly, as I said, any literature that comes out of that RIT comes to my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, when you were going to Mechanics Institute, you probably never could have imagined what RIT. Oh no! As I I always, I repeat, the big barrels to collect the water when it rained. I'm not kidding. I, where, where I went. Oh. <laughs> but what were they doing with the water? They were using it to wash dishes or something? I or? Had the water, I don't know what they did, but, but they, like they the, didn't want it to flood all over the floor because, with the right. running desks were or this the tables. This is because the roofs everything. were leaking. You mean. <laughs> <laughs> they had barrels because the roofs were leaking. <laughs> what building did you have your classes in? Was it the Eastman building? There were really only three buildings at that point. I think right. it was mainly these things. Right. Yeah. And um, there had to be a place where there was a kitchen and a dining room. Mm -hmm. Some of the students ate there. Right. Mm -hmm. No, there. I know there was a place to eat there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really don't remember in detail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember liking all my teachers. You know, they were all nice. Mm -hmm. Competent, smart. Yes. Yeah. There was a new group that came in at the end that they got in from uh, colleges, younger people. Because mm -hmm. when I first got there, there were a lot older than I, right? a lot older. <laughs> the teachers. But the, yes, they were teachers. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the new ones, they, they came in live and things up a little, you know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did you know the president at all, Mark Ellingson? As I said, I had the, his picture. It's probably uh, under my bed. Right. <laughs> yes, with his wife was there at this 50th reunion right. oh, that we had. Of course. In and, and I had met him. I didn't know him personally. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a philosophy teacher that uh, I had, that I happened to like because he thought he liked the way I thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, there was yeah, there were a couple of other women teachers that I liked. Uh huh. 
So you were also taking some more traditional liberal arts classes oh, yes. at the same oh, yeah. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. English and yes, philosophy. Yes. And right. Mm -hmm. yeah. did, you, I, did you think that the classes, that the program that you were in was hard? Was it, did it take a hard, was it a lot of work to go through the classes? And, well, I enjoyed what I did. That, then you don't think it's hard. Right. It's a lot of work. I enjoyed everything that I did there. That's great. Yeah, I enjoyed the teachers, I enjoyed the materials, I was interested in what I was doing. That makes all the difference. Having seen what harm I can do and how good it can be. Oh yeah, here's philosophy. Yeah, it's financial operations, institutional administration, bacteriology. Yeah. Catering, diet and disease. So you see the... It's a broad the, range of... Yes, uh, yes. Classes. And the teachers were excellent. They truly were. Mm -hmm. Some of them had been there before I was born, I think. <laughs> but, yeah. but there was a new group that came in along the way. Was the domestic science program still around in those days? I can't. Answer yeah. That. I mean, there was a program for many years where they kind of taught women how to be good housewives. But well, I think by the 30s, it was pretty much. I don't. You know, yeah. work oriented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, anything else? Any stories? You know, one lady last week told us she used to dance at lunch. They used to play records. Oh. And she would, she and her husband to be would dance. Oh. She, because her husband went to RIT. Yeah. Or went to Mechanics Institute. They met there. Mm -hmm. No dances for you. No, not not in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> He already had me by then. <laughs> Come, I'll show you some more pic pictures right. in my bedroom. I'm going to hit the stop button. Well, thank you very much.